I said I won't go back in that closet for nobody. Nobody will put me back in that closet. I will be open and free about it. You want to be open and free? Everybody wants to be free. Mm-hmm. Can't say my freedom has come to me that easily. Every day of my life, I go through some kind of struggle about being who I am, facing others' projections, and just wanting to get out into the open. Uh, I don't know why I keep trying to grow, but that's what happens. I just keep trying to reach out and be who I am. It's not always easy. And I gotta bring this up. You walked into my living room and you looked me in the eye and basically out of the blue, I didn't bring it up, you didn't, you know, we weren't talking about the situation. You just decided to look me in the eye and lie to me and tell me that you were not a lesbian. It was a long time ago and I barely remember. Sorry for being so confusing. Well, I'm not surprised you don't remember it because a lot of times people don't want to remember things like that. I just thought, where is this coming from? And why does she have such a big issue about it? And why is she telling me? I remember saying how, um, I remember talking about how lesbians were weird and bad or mm -hmm. something like that. Yep. How did you learn how to be friends with a person, with me, when I was saying I'm not a lesbian? You were so kind to me. Do you remember that? It was a mystery. How can you stand having a friend who's such a hypocrite? It makes me mad now. It makes me mad now to think about it. And it makes me wonder. I mean, I think you're being authentic now, but I still know you're the same person that looked me in the eye and told me that big fat lie. Like I said, it was more of a mystery and an incongruency. You know, you can say it's a hypocrisy, but it wasn't so plain to me how deceptive you were being how willfully deceptive because even if you couldn't say it you were feeling it and you were denying it at the same coming time. out wasn't easy thank goodness you and other friends helped me out when i was young i'm so glad that y'all helped me develop a sense of clarity so that i would actually uh, be able to well make a life for myself one thing about myself, as much as I relish trying to be authentic, there is my relationship with my family that sometimes holds me back from being who I am. So I'm not any kind of saint of authenticity. You know, I really enjoy confrontation, so this is really helpful. And Some people live their whole lives trying to deny it and trying to deceive everyone. You don't. You chose a different path that's liberating. I mean, that's why you can be so authentic in so many ways now. Just to speak on the theme of gay marriage, if people want to make that vow, then they ought to be able to have it recognized by the state. That's how I feel. I would talk about rights, you know, and how if you want to live in a country where people have equal rights, which is what we're supposed to have, then why should we be denying some people rights and privileges just because of their sexuality. I would convince others of my views by talking to people on an individual basis. If it's Christianity, 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 Christianity that is keeping people from thinking that it's okay for gays and lesbians to marry, then I would want to talk to them about Jesus. I think they're missing Jesus' message. And so I would want to talk to them on that level. The worst hypocrisy are those folks who might use, for example, the New Testament or the Old Testament to make their case against gay and lesbian people and yet turn around and do things which are contrary with their own beliefs when it's convenient for them. So we're frequently quoted this passage from the Old Testament about man shall not lie with man as with woman. But at the same time, we can find quotations like, if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. But you don't see very many one-eyed sinners walking around. When they're ready to pluck out their eyes, I'll be willing to stop dating my boyfriend. I've been in a loving relationship for 20 years with my partner. Think how ridiculous it is for me to deny that relationship. I just sense that a lot of people aren't authentic. They're trying to be, live up to what their families want them to be. And, I don't know, you get that a lot in the Midwest because there's a lot of people living around their families. You have the freedom to be authentic and part of that is because of the lifestyle that you lead.